Hello, in this video I'd like to show you some of the simple features available in Zoom that may be valuable for you in classroom management. In the digital classroom space, all of the same challenges still exist that we would expect in a physical classroom, in an in-person setting. Students that shouldn't be there, students that should but are absent, students that are present but are not able to regulate their own behavior or engage successfully. There are some simple things that you can do right away in Zoom for redirection. Um, one of my favorites is just sending students a private message in the chat. So on your iPad in Zoom, if you want to access the chat, go to the upper right hand corner and click more and select the chat option. That will open the chat window and you have a couple of different ways to do this. You can redirect a behavior or a difficult situation by talking to the whole class, but not out loud, right? That would be a message to everyone. Uh, and sometimes this works really well, even if you're only intending to redirect one particular student. Um, the other option is to select that small blue arrow that points down next to where it says everyone, and that will give you the option to select individual students. When you select an individual student from the list, you can send them a private message. No one else besides the intended recipient will see it. And again, this allows you to do maybe a simple redirect of a disruptive behavior, uh, the one I ran into the other day was a student who was in our Zoom meeting but hadn't put a shirt on yet. They just needed a simple reminder to turn the camera off, get dressed professionally, and rejoin the meeting. Despite our best intentions as educators, the simple redirect either to the group or to an individual doesn't always get the job done. Sometimes students are experiencing trauma or frustration in their own lives and of course they bring that to school and they may need extra support. So other options in Zoom include the waiting room and exiting people from the meeting. To access both of those options click in the upper right hand corner of your iPad screen where it says participants. Then select the participant that you need to redirect by name. This will open up a menu. So in this case, I'm actually in my meeting twice, once as myself as the host and once as a student. And you can see that I've selected myself the student. And that brings up a whole list of options, including put in waiting room, uh, ask to start video, uh, rename and remove. It's important to note here that there are some things that you can do for the student, like renaming them. Sometimes students will come with a name that is funny to them but not professional uh, or appropriate for the rest of the class. You can certainly try to redirect them, but you can also help them model professional behavior by changing their screen name to something that works better for the class. When students are really having a tough time, I've found that it's useful to be able to move them to the waiting room. So I would select the put in waiting room option, and then I would select the chat feature. I can actually send private messages to students in the waiting room and ask them to calm down, take a short break and return, maybe change their profile picture if that was what was needing redirection. The nice thing about the waiting room is that as the co-host or host of the meeting, I get to decide when the student is ready to return. And in the meantime, that person is not disrupting the other student's learning. I like this as an option because the student is still engaged. They might be engaged in regulating their own behavior instead of engaged in algebra, but I haven't given up my opportunity to teach them. 
in really extreme uh, or overwhelming cases, sometimes it's just not the right day to do school, and I will actually use the remove feature to exit a student completely from the meeting. But again, that means that I've given up my opportunity to teach the student in this moment, to help them process or work through, to help them build a relationship. And so I'm only going to use that in situations where it's clearly not productive for the student to continue engaging. I hope it was helpful to see these options. Good luck in your virtual school year.